In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a basic to-do list inside of monday.com. I'll be going over how to create the to-do list, how to set up the groups, and some automations and cool features that will make your life as easy as possible. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully, it'll be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all with monday.com, please check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. In this video, as I just explained, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to create a to-do list inside of monday.com with some cool features and automations. So if you are new to monday.com, hopefully this video will be of value. So as you can see, I'm in my demo workspace. This can be done from any workspace. What we then want to do is go to the add button, the top left hand corner here, and we want to create a new board. And this is going to be our to-do list board. So I'm going to call this Nick's to-do list. There we go. Once you've given it a name that is applicable, then go ahead and select your privacy options. So we've got main, private, and shareable. Now main is if you want this to-do list to be visible to everyone inside of monday.com. The likelihood is, given that it is a personal to-do list, you're gonna to wanna to select the private option. This ensures that it will only be visible to you and people that you select. So you get to choose who has access to your to-do your to list. We then have the option to select the name that you're managing this board. This is just a nicety. You can just leave it as items. If you want, you can select tasks or you can add your own name. It's just a helpful tool if you want to use it, but I'm gonna leave it as tasks. Now go ahead and press the create board button and we'll wait for our to-do list to load. So as you can see, the to-do list has now loaded or the board has loaded. We wanna firstly just get rid of the dummy data that has been created. So just select all of these and then go to the bottom here and press the delete button. So once we've deleted everything, we then wanna go ahead and set out our groups. Now the reason we're gonna use groups is because we want a to-do, doing and completed group. And this helps us differentiate the tasks that we have got going on and it just makes managing everything a lot easier. So select your group and just change the name. So let's go to do and then go to group title two and go doing. And then we'll add an additional group and we'll call this completed. And I'm happy with that green color. If you'd like to change it to green or another color, just press the square on the left hand side and you get this lovely color palette here as you can see. So I'm gonna select this nice green and I'm gonna leave to do and doing. Now, once we have our basic group set up, let me just go ahead and create an example task for you. So press example. And as you can see, we have got a few different columns. We've got person, status, and date. So firstly, we've got person, and this is the person that is gonna be assigned to the task. Given that it is your private to-do list, it is always gonna to want to be you. I'm gonna show you in a moment's time how to automate that. So every time a new, new task is created, is assigned to yourself. Now moving on from person, we then have status and we've got working on it, stuck, done, and we've got this default gray status option as well. Now, let's change this to make it slightly more applicable. Firstly, drag the default label option up to the top and create the name to do, and then get rid of working on it, change stuck to doing, and I would also recommend just changing the color to a nice purple to match our group color or whatever your color is. And then we've got done as well. Now you can change done to completed if you would like to, and then just press the apply button. So now we've got the three stages or three status options, and these mirror our group options, okay? Next to status, we then have the date column, and this just allows us to assign a date. But there is a really cool feature that not very many people know. If you hover over the date and go to the three dotted button on the right hand side and go to settings, we can set this date as a deadline date. What this allows us to do is it connects the status and the person column to the, um, to the date and shows as a due date deadline, as you can see here. So choose a status column, that is gonna be our status, and then choose a person column, that is gonna be our person, and go ahead and press connect columns. Now this is a very, very, very useful tool, okay? Because when you change the status from to do to completed, it will put a line through it and a tick box. So it's a very, very clever feature that monday.com has kindly provided. So that's a very basic to-do list and you can drag and drop to your different stages. But let's take this one step better and get a bit smarter with our to-do list. So we wanna go ahead and do some automations. So firstly, 
like I mentioned about the person, we want to automatically assign the person to yourself, which we can automate. So if we go to automate up the top right hand corner here and go to create custom automation, what we want to do is select when this happens and when a new item is created, then automatically assign the person as Nick Boardman to the person. So then assign Nick Boardman as person. Go ahead and just press the create automation. So when we create a new task, it will automatically be assigned to ourselves, which is very, very handy. Another automation that you may find very useful is automatically setting the due date to be seven days from the day that you created the to-do. And I will show you again how to do this. If we go to automate and then go to new automation, when this happens, when item is created, then we want to go to more options and scroll on the right hand side here. What we want to do is when an item is created, set the date as today. And then what we want to do is go to more options and then push date, the push the due date by seven days. So what we are telling monday.com is when a new item is created, set the due date for seven days time and go ahead and press create automation. You may not necessarily want this because the due dates may vary for you, but this is just an automated thing that may make your life a little bit easier. So if I go ahead and press the X button, go ahead and I'll delete this task just for clarity's sake, press delete and then just create a new example task. What's going to happen now is it's automatically going to assign to myself and automatically set the due date for the 15th of October, which is in fact in seven days time. So that's very, very handy. Now, some additional automations that you're likely to find useful is moving, moving the task to the different groups automatically dependent on the status. So of course we create a new to do. When we select the doing option, it just stays here. And that's very annoying. It means we've got to drag and drop the task to the different areas. But we want to actually go ahead and automate this, which is again, super simple. So if we go to the automate button up the top right hand corner, add new automation. When this happens, when status changes to doing, then do this. And we want to tell the system to move the item to the group doing and go ahead and press create automation. I'd also recommend add new automation again, status changes to status changes to completed, then go ahead and move item to group completed. And then finally, just so we cover all basis, go when this happens, when status changes, select status and then changes to to do, then move item to group to do. So that means no matter where it is inside of the system, it will always move and match the status column, okay? So as you can see, I've got example task, and if I change it to doing, it will then move to the relevant group doing automatically. I did not have to do anything at all. So this is now looking like a really, really handy to-do list. If I then go ahead and change status to from doing to completed, it will then automatically move the to-do to the completed group, and you can see here that that date has now been ruled out. So just a few more automations that you may find very, very useful. We can create an automation to do an automatic notification when the due date is one day before and the status is not completed, okay? Again, just go to automation, create new automation. When this happens, date arrives and then select when. I would go one day before at 10 a.m. The date arrives and status is status column is not completed then go ahead and select notification notify just write something in and um, this task needs doing exclamation mark and we can add some placeholder information as well such as item name and then send that task to myself so one day before date arrives and only if status is not completed create automation, then notify Nick Boardman. There we go. So that's a very, very handy automation. So now we have created a fully functioning to-do list inside of monday.com with some really, really useful automations. So hopefully this video has been valuable and it's shown you how to very quickly and efficiently create a fully automated to-do list to manage all your tasks inside of monday.com. And I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you now have your to-do list fully functioning, set up, automated and streamlined inside of monday.com. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you've got any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below 
or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.